don't look down on death, but welcome it. It too is one of the things required by nature. Like youth and old age. Like growth and maturity. Like a new set of teeth, a beard, the first grey hair. Like sex and pregnancy and childbirth. Like all the other physical changes at each stage of life, our dissolution is no different. So this is how a thoughtful person should await death, not with indifference, not with impatience, not with disdain, but simply viewing it as one of the things that happens to us. Now you anticipate the child's emergence from its mother's womb, that's how you should await the hour when your soul will emerge from its compartment. Or perhaps you need some tidy aphorism to tuck away in the back of your mind. Well, consider two things that should reconcile you to death, the nature of things you'll leave behind you, and the kind of people you'll no longer be mixed up with. There's no reason to feel resentment toward them. In fact, you should look out for their well-being, and be gentle with them, but keep in mind that everything you believe is meaningless to those you leave behind. Because that's all that could restrain us, if anything could. The only thing that could make us want to stay here is the chance to live with those who share our vision. But now, look how tiring it is, this cacophony we live in. Enough to make you say to death, come quickly, before I start to forget myself, as they have.